If you've got an essay to write, the first page is definitely one of the most important bits. There's no doubt that your professor is going to form an opinion of your essay from the first page. And if they form a bad opinion of your essay, it's really hard to change their mind with what you write afterwards. Much better to get the first page right and get your professor's good opinion from the beginning. In this video, I'll show you how to do it. The introduction to an essay is like the trailer to a movie. Some of them just don't really tell you anything very useful or interesting about the movie and so they don't give you any reasons to go and see it. Some of them go to the other extreme and it's like they tell you everything that happens in the movie and so you don't really need to go and see the movie because you feel like you've seen it already just watching the trailer. But the best ones strike a balance. They give you reasons to be interested in the movie, but they also make you want to see the whole thing. The introduction to your essay should do the same. It should introduce the main ideas or themes of the essay so that your reader knows what to expect. But it should leave your reader interested in finding out more about how you're going to explore those ideas in detail. So here are five tips to help you write the perfect introduction. Tip number one, the who, what, when, and why. In the first couple of sentences of your essay, your reader needs to orient themselves in relation to your subject. So start your essay something like this. Say, for example, John Donne's Holy Sonnets, published in 1633, used the sonnet form in unconventional ways to convey the complexity of Donne's theology. Now in that little sentence, you've got a lot of information. We know who is this essay about, John Donne, which of his works, Holy Sonnets, when were they published, 1633, and what is this essay going to do? It's going to try and bring together two ideas about those sonnets, one, an idea about the complexity of the theology, and two, an idea about Dunn's handling of the sonnet form. So already, just within that one sentence, your reader knows a lot about what the essay is going to be about. Think about your professor. She's sitting with a stack of essays. They might be on a bunch of different topics. Every time she picks one up, she has to figure out what is this essay about. Make her life easy. Tell her that right up front and very efficiently. Tip number two, meet your reader where they are and then take them somewhere else. You have to engage your reader with what they already know and then teach them something that they don't already know. So maybe you want to say, this is what you think about this topic at the moment, but I'm going to tell you that you should think about it in this way. For example, your essay might start, uh, Ian McEwan's novel Saturday from 2005 has often been read as a response to the events of 9-11. But in this essay, I will show that it also engages with a literary tradition of writing about London, including especially Virginia Woolf's novel Mrs. Dalloway. Now there you can see what you're doing is you're saying you think of McEwan's novel as a response to 9-11, but I'm going to show you that it's also a response to Mrs. Dalloway. In other words, you're taking the reader from what they already think towards something that they haven't thought yet. Which brings us to tip number three. Make sure your introduction includes a statement that says something like, in this essay I will something. Now that might be a thesis statement, in this essay I will argue that, or it might be a question, a research question, in this essay I will consider whether, or it might just be identifying a topic, in this essay I will explore this. But whatever it is, you're telling your reader what to expect from the essay they're about to read. Don't just jump in with both feet and then your reader doesn't really know what the important points of the argument are or where things are going. Give them a sense of what the takeaway point from this essay is going to be before you make the argument. And tip number four, preview the structure of the essay. So don't just tell your reader what you're going to achieve in the essay. Tell them something about how you're going to set about it. So you can say, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do that. So this is like giving your reader a kind of roadmap to your essay. 
You know when you're in a strange city, you can feel a lot more confident and a lot more comfortable if you've got a map that tells you where you are. And it's the same when someone's reading an essay. Your professor will feel much more confident that they understand what's going on and that you understand what's going on if they've had a little preview in the introduction of how everything fits together. But this is tip number five, be efficient. Don't spend too long over your introduction. You want to cover all these points that I've made, but you want to cover them pretty quickly. Otherwise, there's a danger that academic writing gets too bogged down in kind of endlessly clearing its throat before it starts to really say anything. Your reader wants a guide to the essay they're about to read, but they also want to cut to the chase. So make sure that your introduction is efficient and that your essay doesn't get too kind of front loaded. So your introduction should be one at most two paragraphs long before you get into the body of the essay and start making the argument that you've previewed and introduced in the first paragraph or two. So what all this means, and this is a bonus tip, is that you shouldn't write the introduction until you really know what you're introducing, until you really know what the essay is going to say. And this might mean that you don't write the introduction until the end, until you've actually written the essay that it's introducing. It can be really helpful to write your essay upside down like this, so that when you know what you're arguing, then you introduce that argument. And this is a good way of making it look like you knew what you were doing all along. It may be, though, that if you plan really carefully, then you know already what the whole essay is going to say before you start writing. And in that case, it might make sense to write the introduction first. But either way, don't write the introduction until you know what the essay that it's introducing is going to say. All right, that's my five tips for writing excellent introductions. I hope you found those helpful and um, good luck writing your essays. I hope that you find these videos helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.